Today I have a magic bullet I found in a dumpster and uh, well, I assume it's not working and today I'm going to do a tear down show you what's inside and uh, hopefully help you fix it if you have a problem with it so let's get started so to disassemble it there are four screws on the bottom about six or eight screws on the top uh, there's a label that says do not remove label on the top so you have to tear that label out basically you just find a label that says do not remove and remove that label easiest way so I, remo I removed all the screws and here is the inside and that's it that's a motor a switch and that's it there's nothing else left that's a cable that goes all the way to the bottom to the outside and that's it so the way it works is this motor here stays inside there's a switch that's mounted on the side here so when you push on this piece of plastic when you push on it it will push on this switch and in turn will uh, turn on the motor just like that, it's very simple, there's no circuit board, nothing at all it's a direct switch and let me show you the detail specs of the motor 120 volts 60 hertz I assume it's AC motor not sure if we can run on DC though, it's a brush, DC, it's a brush motor so you know brush is here one, um, one brush on here another brush on this side beautiful motor I've just plugged it in my wall outlet and um, I'm curious to see if the motor is still working or not it's 120 volt AC right now so let's see if uh, still works try not to touch the wire here Beautiful motor, beautiful, works just fine. So there you go, it works just fine. I mean, it's very simple, it's only a switch and a motor. And the only way I can see this fail is if this switch fail, the motor fail, or the mount this plastic mount breaks the motor I doubt it's gonna ever fail um, this brush is gonna last a long time the switch I doubt it's it it it's hard to fail this switch it's just on and off but uh, it can be easily replaced and then um, this mount here only a piece of plastic so if this is broken when you push down it doesn't activate the switch anymore and you know you can just glue it back together and very simple to fix next I'm curious to see if this motor will run on a DC current I have a 24 volts cordless power tool battery here connected to my wire going out to this plug here so it is 24 volt right now I can touch it shouldn't be a problem it's only 24 volts and let me show you that it is in fact 24 volts okay, it's more than 24 here we go 24.2 volts okay now let's see if it works on the DC power ready? 
Very nice. See that? Let's see how many RPM we got at 24 volt DC. What about 3,500? You see that? 3,540. About 3550 RPM at 24 volts. Here you go. That's the maximum RPM I got at 24 volts. 3,575 RPM. So next I want to see how many RPM we got at 120 volts AC, so I just plugged it back in my outlet now. And let's see what we got here. We go 22,000 RPM at 120 volts AC. So there you have it. Uh, we got a very powerful motor that uh, I can use for many other projects. Not only does it run on AC, it runs on DC with lower voltage too. So that is pretty cool. So this is a very useful motor. Alright folks, and that's all I have for now. Till next time.